Hi everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingerFlyShop.com. Today the fly we're going to be tying for you is a Mickey fin. It's just a standard old streamer pattern. I'm going to start out with some red thread. We're wrapping it onto our Daiichi 2220 size 8 streamer hook. <clears throat> going to wrap it back to the bend of the hook. And just a little bit past the bend there. Because I want a little bit of extra red thread to shine through on the back. Whenever we're done, you'll see what I mean here in a minute. Okay, I want that nice and red back here at the end. Now the next thing I'm going to put on is a piece of French oval tinsel in silver. This is going to make the rib on the body of the fly. Just going to wrap that on here at the back. Not the whole way back to the bend though. Like I said just a second ago, I want to leave a little bit of red back here at the tail of this. Then I'm going to wrap this up to the front. Okay, the next thing I'm going to put on is some Mylar tinsel, silver. Uh, I use gold and silver here. It's gold on one side, silver on the other. I'm going to take a fairly long piece of this. And the reason I'm using such a long piece is uh, trying to get this back in the holder here. The reason I'm using such a long piece is I'm going to wrap it back over itself. So we're going to start it up here at the front and I'm going to wrap it with the gold side down or, or sorry with the gold side up the silver side down so when I wrap it it's going to turn over to the silver side. Cut the tag off of here Okay, now next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tie this red off because I want to switch to black thread now. So I'm just going to whip finish this red thread off. And I'm just going to come in here with some black and switch off on my thread colors. Now, I'm going to make a silver body here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to wrap the silver back to the back. And then I'm going to wrap it forward. I'm going to stop back there where I ended my tinsel at earlier. So, I, like I said, I'll leave that little red tail back there. And the reason why I'm doubling it over is it helps smooth it out a little bit. And plus... Um, doesn't always cover everything sometimes you have a little gap going through there so it's just a little bit easier way to make sure you hit everything okay like I said just stopping it back at the back and heading back forward with it Don't let go of it because you don't want it all to unravel at this point. Alright, now we got the body built up here. We're just going to tie this off. Trim that out of the way. Okay, now we're going to come in with our French oval tinsel. We're just going to make a nice even rib. Now it doesn't stand out real, real well because it's silver on silver, but you can see it there. Just make sure you keep it nice and even. And don't let it twist. It is an oval. You don't want it to roll over on you when you're bringing it up through there. Ok, 
Okay, then we'll get this tied off. Okay, the next thing we're going to do here is uh, build the wing of the fly. We're going to start out with some bucktail. We're going to go with a chartreuse color first. Just going to trim a little bit off the back side here. Okay, take a clump of it. And what you're going to do is you're going to put it in your fingers and you're going to pull all the short fibers out. You see how I pulled from the butt end, pull my fingers through the butt end and it pulls the shorter fibers out. Um, takes a little bit of the, the extra body away so it's easier to tie down. Okay, we're going to put this on top. We're going to go a little bit past the butt here, about half again as much as the hook shank. We're going to sit this on top and tie it down. Okay, now one way to tie this is to put a loop around. Uh, you can see here, I put a loop around the fibers, okay? And then softly lay that on top and pull it down. That keeps them all in the same spot. Just do that once and then you can make sure you get it on top where you need it there. Okay, and then we're going to trim this off, and when we're working with deer hair, we always trim at an angle, so it lays down there, you can see how it tapers down towards the eye. If you cut it off flush, then you won't get that taper, and your next layer will be hard to, hard to put on there. Okay, the next layer we're going to put on this is red, so we're just going to come in here with a red dyed deer, deer tail. And uh, same thing, we're going to use a little bit less. You don't need, don't need a lot of this red. The red shows up real well. And it's just a stripe down the middle to offset it. And do the same thing. Pinch it all in your fingers. Pull out the little short stuff. Pull out the stragglers. Okay, we're going to set it on top. We want it the same length as the other one the last layer. We'll do the same thing here. We're going to make a loop right around the hair this time and then we're going to softly lay that down on top. Make sure it all lines up on top where you want it. You get the right length and everything. And Then we're going to do a couple soft loops because you see deer hair flares on you so you want to put it on soft first to get it to where you need it. And then we'll come in and trim that down at an angle too. And we'll wrap this down. As you see, we're building up a nice head here as we go. Okay, now we're going to come in with our last final color, which is back to the yellow. Trim off another nice clump there from the back side to get that, that nice yellow. And thin it down too. Okay, now we're going to just lay it on top, match up the length, and do the same thing we've been doing. Trim it our angle again and clean up this head, wrap it down. Sometimes you got to do some wrapping to build it all up here. It's not a problem. Real fish doesn't have a little pointy head like that. And just wrap up a nice neat head on it. Just keep building it up till you get it nice and smooth and a nice size head that, that matches your body nice. Get a nice flow to it. 
and then you're just going to come in and whip finish it. And then hit it with some head cement to tie all that down. And that's all that's to the Mickey Finn. There's a nice looking shot of it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, please subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the link up in the corner there. And uh, remember, anything you need to tie your flies, you can find it on our website at wholesingersflyshop.com. And don't forget to like us on Facebook. Thanks again for watching.